Radio Netherlands was an international public radio broadcasting service that operated from 1947 until 2012. Headquartered in Hilversum, Netherlands, it produced and transmitted radio programs in multiple languages around the world. Radio Netherlands was founded in 1947 under the name Radio Netherlands Worldwide. It emerged from Radio Herridgezen Nederland, a radio service that had broadcast from London to the occupied Netherlands during World War II. After the war ended in 1945, the Dutch government wanted to establish an international broadcasting service to improve the country's image abroad. Thus Radio Netherlands Worldwide was launched with the mission of promoting Dutch culture, values and viewpoints globally. For most of its history, Radio Netherlands broadcast news, current affairs, sports and cultural programs in Dutch and several other languages including English, Spanish, Indonesian, and Brazilian Portuguese. Its English service started in 1947. At its peak, Radio Netherlands claimed around 13 million regular listeners worldwide. Radio Netherlands had an extensive network of freelance correspondents around the world. Its central office in Hilversum housed state-of-the-art digital radio studios. In addition to shortwave broadcasts, it also transmitted content on FM, satellite radio, podcasts and the internet. In the early 2000s, Radio Netherlands faced declining listener numbers and budget cuts from the Dutch government. This led to a reduction in language services and staff layoffs. In 2012, the government decided to end financing for Radio Netherlands as part of wider austerity measures. After 65 years of service, the station officially closed down on May 13, 2012. An archived version of its website is maintained by the Netherlands Institute for Sound and Vision. During the Cold War era, Radio Netherlands was often seen as presenting a contrasting perspective from communist-controlled stations, even after its closure. It continues to be remembered as an iconic international broadcaster from the Netherlands. Its extensive global correspondence network and the quality of its programs were considered pioneering in their time.